Hello and welcome to game 3 or episode 3, whatever, I don't know, of um, Herbis Plays uh, NBA. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's a pretty dumb name. I couldn't come up with anything better, to be honest. Uh, if you have any suggestions that would sound better, please leave. But I didn't want to want to call this let's play NBA 2k 13 since it's pretty general then again Herbis plays NBA is also pretty general uh, anyways before we start the next game I want to tell you that I made some um, changes in the sliders just to make uh, my op opponent a bit weaker because the last game they were pretty much cheating. Uh, let's see what what I did. Gameplay? Nope. Game sliders. Right. I did I? Yes, I did. I basically just toned down their shot successes a bit and layup successes and dunk and traffic frequencies and dunk and traffic successes because you know and contact shot success stuff like that. I also, I didn't change anything else except tendencies to attack the basket all the time, you know, that was fucking stupid. So yeah, let's see how this works, maybe the game will be a bit more fair, but you know, <laughs> it probably won't. So yeah, let's, let's get to the next month, I mean, it's been two episodes and we're already in December, I guess. Ah, oh, fuck. So awkward the navigation here. Anyway, simulate. Oh, a trade offer. The Thunder. Uh, James Harden. Hmm. That's interesting. I'm not giving away no. Uh, not gonna happen. Let's just play against Lakers. You're gonna enjoy this game, I assume. There are a lot of fans of Lakers. And they are gonna be probably hating on me if I if I win. Probably if I lose too, but you know, maybe a little bit less. Saturday night in the NBA. It'll be Dwight Howard in the Los Angeles Lakers facing off against the Chicago Bulls. And now we send you out to Kevin Harlan and the rest of the 2K crew. I'll see you at the half. I won't. Again. U2 and NBA doesn't really mix, at least for me. Although U2 is not that bad. Oh, Lakers has a good record, five to one, and I have one to one. Not good. Oh, there's me checking the ball out again. Nash, Nash. I like Nash. Oh fuck, Howard Gasol, uninjured Gasol, uh, Kobe, and Nash. Fuck. <laughs> How am I going to win this? Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm not. Pretty sure I'm not. Yeah. Uh, this is not gonna work out well for me. And a turnover. Awesome. Ah, run, run, run. Damn it. Kobe. Getting acquainted with that rim. And giving the photographers an extra second or two, I guess. Special thanks to Sprite for that sweet replay. Rose Thank you, Sprite, for embarrassing me again. Kick out to Hamilton. Damn it, Hamilton. Hamilton Just get the pick from Gibson. Hamilton, the pass to Gibson. The That's a nice play. I get a feeling that's gonna be my only two points in this game. Cool off, Nash. Cool off. Ah. Damn it. 
Jameson's got his first points of the uh, awkward Jameson. Terrific offensive rebound there. Rose dishes to Dang. The dish to Gibson. Okay. Kicks it to Hamilton. Why did I do that? Noah with a screen for Hamilton. Ah. Just four to shoot. Noah. Nice. <laughs> Fucking nice. Oh. Uh. Yeah, I took a risk there, but you know, <laughs> and it worked out perfectly. Yeah. Beautiful. Uh, rebound. Thank you, Gibson. Well, he said he scored 60 points in a game back when he was six years old. 60. Nice. You know, the dunk was nice. great, but I didn't care for that interior defense there, guys. It was non existent. You're right, Mark. You know, right, if I keep collecting on those uh, offensive rebounds, it's going to be great. I could win this. That would be something. Damn it. Oh, fucking that. I tell you, you gotta love his aggressiveness finishing inside like that. Well, his ability to Clark gives him a great advantage. And that's why they look to get him the ball around the rim. I mean, it feels like it's either a dunk or a foul and a couple of free throws every possession. And Steve Kobe obsessive about the game at a young age. Even, you know, even at six years of age, he was already focused on... Ah, oh, damn it. Thing. Could have made it. Maybe I should change my plan a bit here. Basically in Italy where his dad was coaching pro basketball. Clark he was exposed to so much, but obviously from a very early age he was very focused. Jameson. His dad who played a long time in the NBA, nine plus years, and then another seven in Europe or so. So he's been around the game and has grown up. Right. Not risk it. Don't risk it. Well, the pass to Hamilton. Rose kicks to Dang. Over Bryant. It's good for Oh, Dang over Bryant. And we're just over Beautiful. I wasn't hoping for that to fall, anyway. Surprised me. As they get ready to face the Bulls for the first time, we talked about what makes playing the Bulls so difficult. The fuck was that? Yeah, and he got it. The fuck? Kobe. And and that's why Kobe never passes. Ha <laughs> uh, ha! Lakers fans are gonna hate me. Come on, Dang. Oh, Dang almost. Fuck's sake. Bryant! Damn you, Bryant! And while we can, let's have a look at the 2K leaderboard to find out who have been the most efficient scorers in the NBA this month. Oh, Gibson's second. Surprising. That's hard to imagine him oh, Mug G is fifth. Yeah. Nice. Bulls have gone four of seven from the field, shooting over 50%. Two teams with a lot of pride, manhandling the majority of teams in their conferences. And you know what, Kevin? It's only two games. That's all you oh, have to the tables the next season. You damn you, pal. And whoever yeah, helped him there. Come on. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Kobe. Kobe's just raping my ass right now. I feel like I'm in prison. It hurts. What's interesting is that Rose had missed a lot of time last year with the team in the regular year, but the Bulls weathered the storm. But once they knew it was gone uh, from them having him. Come on, Gibson, you can make. Oh, damn it, not a foul. How great our test joined in. I'm not going to call, call him Meta World of Beast because that's a bit too long and it's not really a good name. I'm just going to keep calling him Ron Our Test. And Nash is still going to keep owning me. Well, I think it's a matter of just 
Damn it, Colby, come on. You're all over the game. Oh yeah, yeah. Right there, Clark. Cough up the ball at one end and get beaten on the break at the other. Yeah, that really hurts. That's painful. What the fuck am I doing? Uh, Hamilton. Hamilton left side. Yeah, that didn't work. This fuck it. Dang. Shot clock at six. Takes the twelve foot. Well, I'll give it to Dang then. Dang's got his second bucket of the night. And I'm not sure anybody had a more difficult job than Mike Brown last year. Obviously a big market with stars on its roster, but more importantly, replacing a legend and trying to change the offensive system. Remember the Lakers ran the oh, Save it. Damn it, come on guys. Just oh, fucking Christ. They don't rebound, they don't take loose balls. What the fuck is wrong with them? They showed up in the top five in three point percentage. Oh, That's elite fucking hell. When you talk about Thank God it didn't but fall. When you think about this club, the first thing that comes to mind is their ability to rebound the ball. Best in the league, so physical. The fuck, Rose? Well, how did that work? How the fuck did that work? And Mike Brown changing that offensive system. A triangle kind of an equal opportunity offense in a system where everyone touches the ball. But in Coach Brown's system, Steve, much more responsibility really put on the point. Uh, damn it. And that's why I think the addition of Steve Nash will help Sweet. so much. And Kevin uh, Nash is uh, used to having the ball in his hands all the time, directing traffic, really creating plays. And so the Lakers will be able to rely on Nash to set the table. I thought uh, Dang versus ago, Kobe, again. Really Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> awesome. <laughs> uh, didn't think I would get that open with uh, Ding. I just hope Ding does that this well throughout the game, not just the first quarter, like the last game or the game before that. I don't even remember which game was that. Oh. oh, good enough, I guess. Who's that? Who's that man? Warwick? Keen Warwick? You don't remember? Nice. Piedrich is in, Butler is in, Markins is in, and someone else is probably in. Uh, Nate. Nice. <laughs> oh yeah, nice. Me versus Kobe. Yeah, this is gonna work out just fantastic. Fuck it. Yep. Bad shot. Fucking Kobe. Come on. Come on. And Clark, the degree of difficulty, major. That was amazing. And the Lakers making a change here. It's amazing. So amazing. Pretty good performance from the free throw line last season. It's about eighty-four percent from the line. Yeah, that's a great asset to have, guys. Right. Let's like ma let's make this count. We got a guy who's confident and uh, very good at the line. When he steps up, the fuck was that? Uh, that was awkward. That was bad, actually. Not just awkward. And that concludes the first quarter of play. Lakers lead by four. And don't go away. It's been Kobe all the way. Uh, see you in the next quarter. Second quarter. And the first quarter is in the books. Second about ready to get underway. And what stands out to you from the Lakers? Right. Heinrich. Heinrich. with their transition game, guys. They really got out and ran the lanes. Yeah, they did. I mean, no better. Well, that, of course, did not work out. Just passing lanes are that. Oh, come on. They're just dunking on me all day long. All day long. It's embarrassing. God. Good to be at range. Ah, great. 
Robinson passes to Beardrinch. Damn it, Beardrinch. It's Howard. You can do this. And uh, nope, you can't apparently. There's three misses for Beardrinch. Yeah. Damn you, Jay Thompson. Problems a year ago. Originally asked for a trade, and then he backed off the demand. Then there were reports that he had asked management to fire Stan Van Gundy. I think the biggest question with Dwight Howard is just the maturity. You know, he came straight out of the out of high school to the NBA, and you wonder if he uh, yeah, figured out how me a to role. be a part of a team and how to really be a leader. Here's Thompson. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck was that? You're not Jordan. Stop doing that. Excellent release, man. Apparently. Oh, I got. Yeah, they took me out of the court because I suck. It's Kobe on. Yes, Kobe's on. Not good. Take that ball. Alright, I have nothing here. Nothing at all. Alright, yeah, Bellinelli versus Kobe. Damn it, Rose! Should have made it. Oh, come on! Another dunk! Be more original, guys. See, Hamilton can do this, and I he didn't even have to dunk. You try it, Lakers. Our test. Barnes. Oh, it's Hill, I guess. Grand Hill? I'm not sure. I'm sorry, I don't know him. Right. The fuck? Oh, great. Beard on the foul line. How I love this. <laughs> Place your bets, men. Uh, I bet he's gonna miss. One, two, three. Uh, close, so close. One, two, three. <laughs> Terrible. Uh, <laughs> yep. Just keep beating me there. Heinrich. I have nowhere to go. Except there. Heinrich's got his first bucket of the night. Lakers leading by seven. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Oh, great Nash. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Sacramento. No, 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 no. Catch it. Good. Uh, maybe not Gibson. Look at Tom Thibodeau. And remember, he was Doc Rivers' lead assistant. The year they won the championship back in 2008, really the defensive coordinator. <sighs> Fuck's sake! Too late. Coordinating that vicious Celtics defense. And so it looks like the Lakers. <sighs> here. And a look here at how the Lakers ranked in the NBA last season: second in rebound, seventh in assist. And they were a top ten. Oh, I'm back on. Awesome. Not bad for a team that's got an awful lot of young, talented players. And this is a team that really relied most heavily on the rebounding numbers that you talked about. I mean, the top five, they're a team that Damn likes it. to attack the lane at Bow. both ends of the floor. Really control the ground the defense and try to pound you inside with the offensive boards. Well, you look oh, at the look, who's open. 
<laughs> well, that's an assist. <laughs> defense, defense. Passes it to Ebanks. Second shot opportunity. God damn it, stop going inside. You fucking pussies. The Bulls have gone 50% from the floor in the second quarter, three of six. From the arc, and the shot is good. Three. Loves operating in that kind of space. Lakers have gone six of nine in the second quarter. Some good work from the field. Well, you knew that Dwight Howard had his days in Orlando numbers. That was clear. Oh, come on. This move for this team definitely was the big story. Oh, great replay, guys. Thank you, Sprite. Slam dunk cam or whatever. Oh, for Gibson, you made those in previous games. Why can't you make them now? Why is he going inside? It's ridiculous. Time you have a chance to get probably the best center in the league, it's a huge deal, and I think you just go for it, yeah. do whatever it takes to get him. So, I think this is a coup. I mean, Howard's had his problems, he had the back issue last year, sweet the controversy as he tried to get out of Orlando. But in the end, this guy is a monster, the best defensive player in the NBA, and really right in his prime. And Doris Burke has a report for us from the sideline. Gentlemen, over the last few seasons, the Chicago Bulls have become a much more go away, Nash. Ah, yes, steal, 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 steal. Yeah, <laughs> fucking great replay. Fucking great. Jesus Christ. Ah, uh, lag, lag, lag. Got a piece of it. Dang. Ah, crap. He dishes it to no one. Here's Miracle Man. Give it to the Miracle Man. Okay, don't, it, don't, not anymore. Here's Miracle Man. Twelve points is last. Ah, fuck, 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 fuck. Ooh. Nice. He's managed to turn it around nicely this quarter. Top of the lag, god damn it. Ah, no, no, no. Damn it. What the fuck? Right. Ah oh, crap. Ah oh, fuck. The fuck am I doing? Wrong buttons. Come on, Nash. Stop it. Stop it, Nash. Stop it. The fuck are you doing, Nash? And all ten of their last points have come inside the paint, so defensively you've got to make an adjustment. What the I never got that shot. Why? Well, I would say not a bad, not a bad quarter at all. Not bad. So let's hope I can, I can beat Lakers. See you then, I guess.